The best and easiest glitch in all of Payday 2. It allows you to get as much money and XP as you want. It's the cook-off glitch. The glitch takes place on the highest cook-off where you cook crystal meth using ingredients found on the map. Usually police will swarm the house and surrounding area making this process more challenging. However with the glitch, no police spawn on the map whatsoever, allowing you to cook endless crystal meth and therefore earn endless money and XP. The rules of the glitch are that you must not go on the road, this will trigger the police to spawn. Two snipers will spawn at either the front of the house, the side or the back. Once they are killed they will respawn in one of these locations randomly. Keep in mind on high difficulties they will do a lot of damage if you are shot. The glitch involves using sentry turrets and if any of them run out of ammo, this will trigger the police to spawn as well. Usually a turret will start to shoot a sniper if they are not killed straight away so make sure to kill them as soon as they spawn. And the biggest rule to this is that it will not work every single time, just keep in mind that it can take multiple tries so don't be discouraged if it takes more than one go. The requirements for the glitch are very simple, you must ace the tower defense skill as well as the jack of all trades skill. You need these skills for the glitch to work so make sure you have these and if you can't or don't have the skill points to get them, just level up a bit and then come back to the glitch where you can get them. I would also recommend to unlock the transporter skill as this makes throwing bags a lot easier and you can throw them further which will be very helpful at the end. Make sure you equip the sentry turrets as your primary and secondary equipment as well. I would also recommend bringing a gun with a lot of ammo as placing turrets actually uses ammo from your guns and you need some left over to shoot the snipers. And once you've done all that you can now choose the highest and select your difficulty based on your skill level. As soon as you spawn in and start the highest try to mirror my movements as closely as possible. Place the sentries in the exact same locations as I do. There have been a lot of methods to this glitch but this one is different to all of the other ones I have covered before. The key to this method is taking it slow and not rushing into the house straight away. Once you make your way around the house placing every sentry in the exact same spot, make your way into the house using the same entrance that I do. Then you can clear out the house and find the ingredients. And from that point stay inside the house you will know if the glitch has worked in a few minutes when the police have not spawned and you will be tasked with cooking the meth. I will not be cutting this gameplay at all so that way you can see the process from start to finish so you know exactly what to do and that the glitch does actually work. If you are new to this heist the ingredients can be found in the truck outside, in the two sheds outside, in the basement and in the bathroom of the house. Bane will give you instructions on how to cook the meth and it will be different each time. If you get it wrong and add the wrong ingredient the meth lab will explode and you will fail the heist. Sometimes he gets it wrong so if you are not sure on the right ingredient then just wait for him to repeat it a few times and you'll get the right one. And from here you keep adding the ingredients and bagging the meth when it's done. After you've got three bags the van will spawn on the road and the only way to put the bags in the van is to go on the road. This does mean that it will trigger the police to spawn but you will have around 10 seconds to get the bags in the van before they do. This step is much easier with teammates who can help and get more bags in but if you're playing solo then I would recommend taking less bags. And that is the glitch from start to finish, I will leave the gameplay running here so you can see the process all the way to the end when I complete the heist. And that is all for the rules and requirements of the glitch, nothing else needs to be said, all you need to do now is just continue the process of making the meth, bagging it and waiting for the van. It's up to you how many bags you want to take and how much you want to risk because if you are taking a while on the road the cops will spawn and they will probably kill you. And that is it for the glitch, it is currently working on all consoles, unfortunately it doesn't work on PC and it never really has, so for the PC players I am sorry but you can't do it. But for the console players make the most of this glitch before it gets patched because it probably will. And yeah that's all that needs to be said about it, if you left a like I'd appreciate that, subscribe for more glitches and yeah, in a bit boys.
careful, they have snipers incoming. Stay for a Let's do it. 